to first chair role is very much a mindset shift. You have overall accountability for setting the tone of the board meetings, for ensuring that there's a good balance between looking at the strategic and the operational. I think it's really helpful um, if you can get the support of your current chair and your board uh, to allow you to take up a non-exec role before you fully immerse yourself into a chair role and perhaps a portfolio career. And I think the benefit to your current business um, is the learnings that you take back from a, 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 another organisation, which uh, certainly at Nichols I found very beneficial and the board did. You have the accountability for ensuring that you hear all the voices. So whereas when you're a non-exec director or even executive director, you might be participating more. As chair, you're very much sitting back, listening, pulling it all together, and you're accountable for ensuring that the decisions do get made and that everyone's voice is heard. I was very lucky with my first chair role because I've been a director of the company for nine years at the time. So actually the, the difficulties may be slightly different to others. Uh, firstly, I guess there's a question of the status quo. You've been a director for nine years on a board and the board changes and you have to step up to be chair. So what do you do differently? What should the board do differently? What should you, how should relationships change? Um, so understanding the shape of the board and what it was going to be, what it was going to be like was actually a real challenge to, to me. You've got a very, very important role in bringing the board together, ensure that you're talking about strategy um, and making sure that that strategy is deliverable through the organisation, the people, a really important role managing investors as, as appropriate. And a lot of the uh, founder-led businesses I'm, I'm working with, um, I guess I am quiet in the day to day, but you've still got to remember you're in that advisory capacity and your responsibility is to all shareholders, not just the founders and the management team.